I'm going to try and do something now that might make a few people reminisce. I've dug out the um, classic computer box. It's, it's a tool for work. I need this at work, but I'll just flick this on. They have a saying in the trade of controls engineers that you never update a working system. Well, some systems work and they work on this, which hopefully will pop in a minute. There you go, look. Windows XP. Absolute classic operating system. Built like a brick shit ass. Still used on nuclear submarines, believe it or not. Windows XP. And then here it says, for submarines, because it's stable and all the problems are known. It might make it in a minute. Is it going to make a noise? Oh. Absolute classic. It's a real photo, not photoshopped at all. I've got to restart this, so just for all you old school XP fans, I'll play the uh, log off sound. Oh, yeah. This computer natively has on the back, not of the actual laptop itself, but on this dock as a serial thing, which gets me out a lot of shit. That's why I particularly keep this one running. I'll just click close on that. So while that's installing some ancient software called the IC9 series setup tool or something, I'll go through it, yeah? This software will run on more modern computers and it will run in a virtual machine and it will probably run on a Windows 10 computer. However, it's got to get from the software to the device. Well, although the software and the computer can talk to each other because of modifications, the device, which isn't here, might not have ever spoken to a, a computer since Windows I don't know, 98, maybe even DOS. I, don't, I used to keep a DOS machine, but I don't keep one anymore because the, the only customer that required it, they, they upgraded. But I do keep an XP machine or two running. And this one is my favourite one. That needs me to close that. Um, yeah, why do I keep it running and what else do I have? So I have the Windows XP machine, which basically can talk to a computer or talk to preparials like it wants to be talked to because it's still running a version of XP. Even though... I might briefly connect this to the internet to download things quickly, but I won't leave it sat on the internet because it'd get hacked to fuck, yeah? I also keep with it, need a clean, that's what they're here for, PS2 keyboard and mouse. Because again, if you connect into legacy equipment, you're going to need that shit. Yeah, if you want to just do old new stuff, don't bother, but I'll show you a few of the other legacy things I've got in case you're really boring. That software is having a marmar. I might have to try out the Windows 7 machine. I've got this one, a Windows 7 and a Windows... 10 i think so dial up modem probably will never get seen the light of day again probably will never get used again but i've got one i've got the software for it and it works that lives in the legacy box this one is for making up d sub pin leads for rs 232 and 485 bit of cable and the pins for doing it that lives in the legacy box a old school switch and two leads in case i need to split anything up lives in the legacy box um work with these i've got a that's a ps2 adapter a gender changer and there's a 12 volt to 240 in there not really legacy stuff these are your bread and butter legacy stuff at least two different types of rs232485 adapters because some will work with something some won't these are nightmare to get working and keep working that is a usb one because sometimes you need to go backwards that far Hard drive plug-in, so that will plug into SATA hard drives and IED with the two different pin configurations in case you need to recover an old hard drive. That will take you right back to the original hard drives, that will, although I've got no facilities for doing scuzzy hard drives, but I have got that. Upstairs, I've also got a zip disk, which I can use in a hurry. That's another hard drive recovery tool and a, just a few different flavours of USB leads. All USB one shit. Then you've got your dedicated plugs like this one, which is for Texcom alarms. Then in there, there is, that's a lead for a fire alarm. I've got the Fluke one, Siemens, ABB, uh, Schneider PLC, Siemens PLC in there, I think. Yeah. If you lose this box, I'm totally fucked. I turn around to get a little bit of a, yeah, this is a USB one or two. So it's not, I think it works on one or two, not a dead new one that won't work with the old PCs, but it's got this card reader on that does X memory, compact flash, uh, SDs and compact flash. And oh, it even does Sony memory stick and you can slap an R drive on the top of that as well and read that. It just won't read IDs, but that is worth its weight in gold, that thing. Um, 
Some classic USB and RJ45 extension leads. The pink one's a crossover cable for anyone of you kids playing like home that remembers that far back. A boroscope and microscope. You'd be surprised. A classic Hager time key reader because I've got quite a lot of these in Legacy. A serial USB one and a serial one and a spare key. And an RS232 lead, which is the one I went to find today because I'd lost them all. So yeah, that's my Legacy box. Also in that are two, three PCs. I've got the XP one, which is the classic with the dot, which gets me out a lot of shit, even though this software is not working on it right now. Over there, there's a Windows 7 one, I think, or 10. I can't remember which is on that at the minute. That's sort of a more modern computer that's broken, but I use it for loading various bits and bobs on. Then in here, there's quite a stable old Dell. Not got a lot going off on it, um, but it's it's got a cd drive i've i've got a floppy drive a cd drive and a old usb one drives and a zip drive upstairs this one just tends to run stuff and i don't know why it just tends to run stuff so i keep this one going even though it's absolutely shot as a pc but yeah if you want to be a control engineer working on old stuff this is the kind of shit you need to keep in your arsenal unfortunately <laughs> 